Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. How are we all doing? Really good, I hope. I thought I'd pick up the camera today because I thought today I'm gonna have a bit of me time. Um, I don't always give probably myself as much time as I should in day-to-day -day life. As busy mums, we're always on the go. As you know, we're always doing something. If we're not doing something, something's going on in here. We're thinking about what we've got to do next. It's just, it's endless. Um, and I felt like I just needed a day to obviously not switch off because you can never switch off when you're a mum. And obviously I have the school runs to do um, and there's bits I need to do in between. But on the whole, I thought today I'm gonna to sort of take myself off on I don't have to call it like a, a solo day, solo day, I don't know, I don't know if that's the right term, Whether it's not really a date, but I thought I'm going to take myself down to Resden Lakes. Now Resden Lakes, if you're not familiar with the area I live in, it's a lovely place, it's basically, so you've got a whole area of shops and then you have um, like the restaurants, all food places, cinema, and then you have like the nature part. So um, it's all built on the lakes, as the name suggests, and you have different walks you can do. So it's a bit of everything. And I thought I'm gonna take myself down there. I'm gonna have a little mooch around. There's nothing in particular I wanna get, although I do need to go into Superdrug. Um, I need to get some spray to cover the greys course um just have a little mooch around we're actually getting quite a few new shops down there um we actually have a rituals um which is recently opened which the nearest one has only ever been milton Keynes. so i might have a little look in there um get myself something to eat i thought maybe have something nice to eat um possibly walk around the lakes and just have a bit of bit of me time um which is so so important for us isn't it you know um and i don't do it enough for myself i would be the first to say that i barely had a nice bath washed my hair painted my nails as you would have seen got my new color from se on a bit autumnal a bit darker i thought yeah i do really need to start i don't know if the right term is looking after myself but just just doing more for me, which brings me on to today's sponsor. The sponsor of today's video is Trainwell. Now, Trainwell is a fitness app, and fingers crossed, it is going to give me <laughs> the motivation to do some mild exercise. Now, I have struggled with exercise I have really tried <clears throat> where exercise is concerned I would be the first to say I lack motivation and I always have done I have motivation for absolutely everything else apart from exercise um, over the years I've done various things I used to do so much running back in the day so much running and I did start it up again um here and there i'll go for it and i will feel so much better when i have exercised and then it drops off um so i lack that motivation and i think that could be through i think probably the number one thing would be tiredness i think because it it's a it's a circle it's a vicious circle because i get up so early and I'm pretty much always on the go. I do get tired, even though I go to bed relatively early. And I think the tiredness is a big factor in my lack of motivation to exercise. So I am really, really hoping that Trainwell is gonna help me fix that. So a bit about Trainwell. Trainwell is an app that combines the flexibility, which we want in our everyday life, with the accountability of a personal trainer, yes. And of course, with the flexibility of technology. So your virtual trainer, which you will be allocated, customizes a personal exercise program just for you. Every program is absolutely tailored to you and within 
the Trainwell app so you can work out anytime, anywhere. So I'm going to show you a bit of the concept now of Trainwell. So here is the Trainwell app. Um, super, super easy to navigate, really, really easy to use. Um, you've got all your exercises on there. You've got your um, connect with your expert virtual personal trainer. Obviously, this is where you'll keep in contact with your trainer. Also, um, you've got all your exercise progress on there, all the charts so you can keep track. Uh, Thank you so much for being here, for taking the time to do this call. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible so I don't take too much out of your time. It looks really, really good. And I'm really, really hoping that it helps me with consistency. Um, even if it's not every day, if he, even if it's once every other day, um, I just want that consistency, not necessarily to, you know, nothing to do with losing weight, nothing to do with... Um, changing my body appearance but simply to feel good within myself so train well is giving me the opportunity to do that and i am going to go for it so you can join me in trying train well for absolutely free you can get a 14 day free trial if you tap on the link my special unique link which is in the description box below um you can give train well a try completely free no obligation for 14 days so you've really absolutely got nothing to lose you can join me in my journey of motivation doing some exercise um having a virtual personal trainer which you would have seen in the clips which is fab which i'd never heard of before um so it's really worth giving it a go so tap on that link join me and We'll talk about how we're getting on together. And now on with my day. So it's about 20 to 8 now. Atticus has had his breakfast. He's going to get all ready for school in a minute. I will drop him off and then we will head to the lakes. Um, I've got a couple of bits on it. I need to pop. Of course, I need to pop to Tesco. Always need to pop to Tesco. Um, I, I need to get some bottled water. Um, then I also, while I'm in there, I need to take a cardigan back because I bought a cardigan yesterday. Um, really nice one I'll show you um, in a while and on the hang of it said it was a large and I like my um, my cardigans oversized so I thought a large will be perfect I don't know why I didn't really look at the actual cardigan to see that it wasn't really a large I just saw the word L and I thought yeah you know mum brain menopausal brain um, and anyway so when I got home I tried it on and this is a bit this is a bit tight it was an extra small and normally in tesco you don't really have to watch the labels like that it's normally primark isn't it that you know you have to look at the label as well um which i always remember to do but in tesco i don't really so i need to go and change that for a large if they've got a large if not i'll just get my money back or maybe try a medium we'll see there wasn't many left though um i need to do that and then also as well tonight um hence why it's a little bit of a solo date thing I don't know. Um, Atticus tonight is going out for dinner with his dad. His dad is taking him out. Um, so I am going to get a nice meal for one. I thought I'll pop into Marks and Spencers while I'm down the lakes and get something nice for myself to eat. Um, something really tasty that I fancy. Um, my appetite hasn't been that great lately. Um, so I want to find something really nice that I'm going to really enjoy. So that is the plan for today. A little OOTD for you. Um, I've got a dress on today simply because it's going to be about 23, 22, 23 degrees today. And I thought, I need to get the wear out of stuff, you know, before it turns cold, which it's going to. So I've got this T-shirt dress on, which is ultra comfortable. This is from the Primark Edit range. I got this at the Primark in the Trafford. Um, I think it's a very dark navy. It might be showing at black. Um, but it's a nice length, nice midi length. And then I'm going to wear these. Now, when I tell you these are ultra comfy i mean they are ultra comfy now obviously they are a copy of the birkenstocks they're not the real thing although i do have the real thing downstairs with the fur inside which i tend to use um i don't really wear them out anymore as such um but i'll wear them if i need to pop out sort of thing that type of shoe um i can't bring myself to get rid of them because they were just incredibly expensive um but i wanted something a little bit different for like um the transition um, from summer to um, autumn and I tend to wear um, my 
Sambas, Adidas Sambas a lot. I have a few pairs of them, um, but I wanted something a bit different. Now I saw these in New Look, they have them in all different colors. This is like a gray, but almost virgin. I don't know how the color is showing up on camera, but almost almost showing up as like, a in store, it looked like a, a type of sage green, but I think it's a gray. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but they are so nice. I think they're a fab, fab copy. They've got them in various colours, they've got them in black, brown. I might even have to go back and get another pair because they are just ultra comfy. So easy to just slip on, look really nice. I think they look really cool with like jeans, dresses, everything um, for autumn. So I might have to go back and get another pair. Now I think these were $27.99, which is absolutely fab price as opposed to what are the Birkenstocks now in this style? Um, I think they're like, what are they, 130, 140? I, I don't know, with the fur, I think I paid something that was ridiculous, like 170 or 180 or something, and I thought, I'm not I'm not doing it, I'm not, you know, I can't justify it, but these, for 27.99, are absolutely fab, so they're from New Look. Ultra, ultra comfortable, absolutely love them, um, and just really easy to slip on. Doing what I want to do today starts with my Spotify on the way to Rishton Lake. School run is done. Um, I want to listen to what I want to listen to, not what I feel I should listen to, not what, you know, a lot of the time when we're in the car, to be honest, Atticus has his music on, he chooses. Um, so I'm going to choose what I want to listen to today and I'm going to do a throwback Thursday. Let's do it. So I've arrived at the lakes. I am moving very still because my camera tends to, when I'm talking in the car, it tends to start moving. Um, so I'm sort of, if I'm moving funny, that's why I'm trying not to move. <laughs> I've got my coffee. I've gone for a Costa. Now, normally when I come down here, I would actually go over there to get my favourite coffee in my area, which is Bewitched. But I did notice I had a free one on my Costa app, so I thought, come on flat white free i mean they're normally nearly four pounds now aren't they so instead of going over to be rich and paying nearly four pounds i've got a free flat white let's have a look at it i love the costa flat whites i've gone off the costa lattes but i do love a flat white not quite as frothy today as my local costa does it nowhere near let's have a taste It's nice, obviously. It's really, really lovely, but nowhere near as frothy as my local Costa does it. They do it super frothy, but it's nice. I will not complain. Um, so, carrying on from, yeah, doing what I want to do. So, I'll come down here. I think, I don't know if I'm feeling Primark today. I don't know if I actually want to go in Primark. There you go. I think I'm going to walk up that end because I'd like to have a look in Tiger. Um, just have a little look. I love the little bits they get in Tiger. Um, possibly have a look in the new Ritual Shop. I feel that will be up there. Um, and then I think I might, by that time, by the time I've had a look in a few shops, I think I'm going to be feeling a bit hungry. So I think I'm actually going to take myself in somewhere and do something which I normally never do when I'm on my own. And I'm going to go and have some breakfast somewhere. So I'm going to have my coffee and then we'll have a mooch around, um... She sat here having my coffee and I've been like scrolling on Instagram and I don't know about you but the people that I enjoy, I mean I follow lots of people um, for different reasons, you know everyone provides their own sort of content and that's what it's all about um, but I think as I've got older I just love to follow people that make me laugh, that make me actually laugh out loud so you know the first time I go on Instagram which was, you know, it's something, it's someone that makes me laugh. Um, I love that. And there's so many out there now, isn't there? I think Instagram has completely changed. It has completely changed. I remember back in the day, I mean, I've been on doing Instagram now for, oh my God. Atticus was a newborn, I feel. Okay, 10 years. Around 10 years I've been doing Instagram. And... Back in the day, it was like a mirror selfie, you know, outfits of the days, which we still do, you know. But it used to be a mirror selfie, you know, and that was it. That was it, little caption. 
and it's completely changed and now it's mostly it's mostly reels it's yeah i still like to post like photos um i think photos are nice to have on my feed and i like to see other people's photos um but i do like the funny reels i mean i'm following some really funny people and they just make me laugh out loud and as i've got older that's the content i like to see um you know i still i still love like you know uh, fashion content i mean instagram we're talking about now um youtube i like the old school youtube which i hope i do bring a bit of to the table because i love old school youtube you know hauls day in the life all of that stuff all the good stuff um but instagram i do like you know fashion posts i do but not nowhere near as much as i did i just i just want to see people that make me laugh you know um but it's changed, it's just all changed so much, you know. Enough of my social media talk and uh, let's go and have a little look around Rushton Lakes. It's muggy, it's pretty muggy. It's very dull, there's not one bit of sun today. I'll put a denim shirt on over that dress. Um, cause it's not super warm yet. Um, but yeah, let's go and have a nice stroll around Rushton Lakes. Very excited, because as you can see, we're getting an eye store. I think that's opening like in the next few months. Um, so not exactly an Apple store, but the iStore, which is like in partner with Apple. Um, it's exciting. Look in Waterstones first. very very pleased with. I'll do you like a mini haul when I get home. A few little bits I pick up but I'm going to have a look in Mitchell's now. A new store to um, which is lakes. Let's go and smell the got the 2025 calendars I always get my calendar from here so I actually went into the body shop to look for the vanilla pumpkin pumpkin body butter they always bring out and they're not doing it this year because she was telling me because they went into administration most of the year they're not bringing it out this year how cute is this i've never seen this before look the happy to chat bench so i guess you sit on that if you're happy to chat to people that is wonderful maybe i should sit on there what do we think to m and i have got a sausage in a ciabatta with some brown sauce and a flat white. And I've got the view of Western Lakes. So I'm gonna sit and enjoy this on my own. I'm back in the car. It is now 
20 past 11. I've been down here nearly two and a half hours. It's been really nice. A little haul when I get back, not too much. I went into the cafe, as you would have seen. Had the most tasty sausages in ciabatta with brown sauce, a flat white and water. It was so good. And it was lovely. Do you know what? Like I say, I've never been all the years Resident Lakes has been here, obviously. I go in places here with Atticus, with Anastasia when she's home, with my mum, um, but never, ever on my own. Not that I can remember. So that was really nice. So plan now, I'm going to go back to Wallingborough. I'm going to pop into Tesco. I need to get bottled water. I feel there's something else. Bottled water, milk, always milk. Um, and then I was going to go to M&S Food and get myself something for dinner tonight. But I think after I'd had the roll, I, I wasn't hungry. I didn't feel like going in M&S Food and choosing something. So I think I'll get something from Tesco for myself tonight. Because as I mentioned, Atticus is going out with his dad for dinner. So I'll just get a quick and easy microwave meal for me, I think. Um, then I need to take the cardigan back also. Um, and then we will head home and I will do you a little haul. So hopefully I will should be home if I get a move on. I should be home for midday, which would be great. And then I'm actually going to sit this afternoon and I'm going to read one of my books. So we're at Tesco. Camera's fine, I think. I've managed to like, it's got a stand on it anyway, but I've managed to like put it on something there. So I don't think it's moving, which is fab. It's fab that I've discovered that. This is the cardigan I need to change. I really like it. Um, I'm really hoping they've got a medium, preferably a large. Um, like a long, long cardigan with pockets. I absolutely love the colour. As you can see, um, it contains, what's it say? Um, contains wool. It's lovely. It's really, really... Let me tell you about so you can see better. Um like that quite long pockets which is always good um i just thought it's going to be nice to throw over like t-shirts and that as it's getting as it's getting a bit cooler um it was 18 pounds but the extra small is just too too tight on me much too tight um so i am gonna see if they've got the large or the medium fingers crossed they will have So I am home. I love being home. After being in the busyness, it did get quite busy. It was very, very quiet and then it got busy. I just love getting home to my peaceful house. I do. <laughs> Another sign of age. Whoa, the sun. A very quick haul. I didn't pick up too much, but um, you know, I just had a nice browse. It was so nice. I just went where I wanted to go, done what I wanted to do. Um, and it was lovely. So I'll do MS. I'll do M&S first. Um, I picked up three things in M&S. Okay, the first one, oh, it's so soft. Just a plain grey, ultra soft. I mean, unbelievably soft sweatshirt. I do like a grey marl sweatshirt. Um, this was in the sale. Oh God, it's ultra soft. Um, knocked down from 19 pounds to 12 pounds. Um, I got it in a large really like that it is ultra soft like you can buy your you can buy your sweatshirts from Primark can't you and I love them um, but <laughs> feeling this I could completely notice the difference it is lovely um, so yeah I thought I'd get that in a large um, so it's nice and oversized uh, for £12 that was a real bargain so got that um, then I got um, I got hand cream. I needed some new hand cream. I've almost got through all my hand cream. And I got um, the warmth scent. Um, now, there's a reason I got this because um, last, I think it was last autumn, winter. Now, I love the smell of Santel 33. Absolutely love it. But we all know the price of it. And I just can't do it. I am not going to spend that amount. And the warmth scent, if you haven't smelt it from M&S, the warmth is a dead ringer for Santel 33. Yes, it is. And I have ordered, they've brought it out now in a big bottle. So last season I had the small bottle of it and they've brought it out in 100 mils now. So I ordered that online and I also ordered the body lotion 
and the shower gel to go with it because I just absolutely love the smell. I needed a new hand cream so I thought I'm going to go in to see if they've got the warmth one as well to match so it all smells the same and they did have and this was only five pounds so if you think I got the perfume I think the perfume I've ordered I've got to pick it up on Friday I think the perfume was 18 now Santel 33 and it was 18 for a big 100 ml bottle um okay it's not going to have the staying power of Santel 33 obviously because there's a massive price difference um I think it's something like 150 pound price difference um but the smell is very 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 close and obviously spraying it, you're not got to be too like if you're spraying a £200 perfume, you know, you've got to be, you've got to be careful with it. But with, you know, the Marks and Spencers one, you can be a bit more, you know, free with it. Um, so then I got that. So then I'll have the whole range. Um, so pleased I got that. And then one last thing from Marks and Spencers. I've got this bracelet. Um, I thought this was very, very pretty. It is um tiger's eye i hope the camera is picking it up so you've got the piece of tiger's eye um in the middle there absolutely love that um they had this one it was the last one of the tiger's eye then they had some rose quartz tiger you would have seen i have a look in i only got one thing from there now i've been on the lookout for one of these obviously i have my tripod at home but there are times when we're out and about and you want to use a tripod you don't always want to get a particular um picture or shot um a tripod is always handy but you don't really i don't really want to carry a great big tripod about with me so i saw this one and this will easily fit in my bag let's get it out and have a look at the size oh my god that is amazing i am so pleased with that look at the size of that tripod fit that will fit on there then obviously the phone will somehow yeah the phone will clip in there so you've got like a spring thing there um and then you can get that angle and it will fit very nicely in my handbag because that will come press that that comes out easy and then that can just fit separate perfect size i'm really really pleased with that probably probably my favorite purchase today then two books from waterstones i got um i got this one i would like to have found it in paperback because it was a bit pricey it was 22 pounds but it sounds really really good to me you probably would have seen me looking at it in one of the clips um it's by patrick grant it's called simply less stop buying so much rubbish <laughs> how having fewer better things can make us happier i thought that sounded really really good brilliant we all need to read this book there he is on the back um so very much looking forward to reading this one and then i got a novel i thought this was very seasonal um it is the cinnamon bun bookstore um, the lady did tell me at the counter, actually, when I was paying for this, there's another one or two in the series. Um, and the other one is the Pumpkin Spice Bookstore. Um, so I said, I shall read all oh, the sun. I shall read this one first. I'll read it out on the back. OK, it sounds really, really good. Um, when a secret message turns up hidden in a book in the Cinnamon Bun Bookstore, Hazel can't understand it. As more secret codes appear between the pages, she decides to follow the trail of clues. She just needs somebody to help her out. Gorgeous and outgoing fisherman Noah is always up for an adventure and a scavenger hunt sounds like a lot of fun. Even better than the cute bookseller he's been crushing on for months is the one who wants his help. Hazel didn't go looking for romance, but as the treasure hunt leads her and Noah around Dream Harbour, their undeniable chemistry might just be as hot as the fresh out the oven cinnamon buns the bookstore sells. That sounded really good. I can't wait to get stuck into them too that is everything i'm gonna to have to move you again because it's just so damn sunny okay there you go there you go that is everything i bought down western lakes i had a lovely time it's literally 10 past 12 um so i am going to and i'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon i do have to check in on some emails um because work everyone has to work um so i do need to check in on some emails um get some washing out and then i am going to read I'm going to start and read, actually, not one of them books. I'm going to read. I will just get it for you. I'm going to start 
and read. I'm going to have a nice cup of tea and then I'm going to start and read this one. Um, I got this one at National Trust on Sunday. It says on the back, want to feel happier, healthier and more fulfilled. Now's the time for a breath of fresh air. It's easy to go through life on autopilot knowing the same old routine or rush around frazzled and frantically ticking off the to-do list. But I'll be missing the best bits. Have we lost sight of what really matters? Um, calm and contentment comes from making time for the people you love, doing things you enjoy and above all tuning into nature. This book will inspire you to think differently, try new things and fully embrace, embrace each season. Make a nice cup of tea and I'm going to start reading that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed spending the morning with me doing what I just wanted to do. I mean obviously I couldn't go too far because I have the school run. Um, so I've done what I wanted to do within the vicinity that I am in and I really really enjoyed it. It was lovely just sitting in Mark Spencer's cafe just you know the sausage spatter was absolutely wonderful um, and I think we should all learn to eat by ourselves in a restaurant. I think learn and it probably is the right word to use, learn, because so I think so many people feel uncomfortable. And when you're surrounded by, like, people that are, everybody's with somebody, um, not that I particularly had a great big look around, but I, I feel, I think I was probably the only one in there that was sitting alone. And you know what? That was absolutely fine. We all need to be comfortable just literally being on our own and it was lovely it was lovely um so i hope you've enjoyed do not forget to check out trainwell tap on the link in the description box and join me on my exercise journey um finding the motivation um getting over my tiredness and thinking right yeah i feel tired but i'm gonna do it anyway just finding that motivation um, I know train well is gonna is gonna help me because I'm accountable to a personal trainer. Go take a look um, and join me on my journey. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you very very soon for another video. Bye.